Okay, folks. My big camera is charging. So while it is, I'm going to get my spices together for my canned goat meat or chef. And I'm going to wing it. I'm going to do a teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of dry mustard, Ooh, two teaspoons of curry. Now we don't want to overpower the flavor of the meat, we just want to give it a flavor. And this is from Bean Irene. This is Chinese five spice powder, which is a combination of cinnamon, fennel, clove, star anise, and white pepper. And it smells heavenly. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in there. I'm going to put in probably about a tablespoon or two of um, kosher salt and about a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now this is what we're going to rub our meat with or, or get our meat seasoning with and this is the meat we're going to be canning. This isn't the sausage meat. So let's just give that a little stir. You thought this was supper? No, this is my canned goat. Huh? No, this is for this is the spices I got inspired. This is for my canned meat. Okay, here we have our goat meat. All right, let's just get this on here, and we're just going to stir this in. Now, you don't want to overspice for one simple reason. Once the spice is in the meat, oh how can you smell that? Once the spice is in the meat, you can't take it out. You, you can always add spice though. This is about five pounds of meat, but mind you, this is just to season the meat for canning. Papa thinks I'm gonna cook something fancy with goat meat tonight, he can think again. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, Jamaican, Jamaican cur nope. goat curry, I know. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look it up. This is. This is, uh, this is seasoning for the canning meat of the meat, though. There it is. It's all seasoned up, and I'm just going to put this in the fridge and get my jars together. Alrighty. Let's get our stuff together and can our goat meat. This is our seasoned meat that we just seasoned. Of course. Duh. And uh, we're going to do it just like we did our pork. Because the meat is raw, there is no need to add water. All right, and we're just gonna pack this nice and tight in the jar up to one inch headspace. I've got eight jars washed, but I'm not sure. I think I'm only gonna get about six, but we'll see. We always, always, always Wipe the rim of the jar with a clean cloth. Y'all done with that part, Daddy? You got your chops done, or have you got them? Have you started them yet? No, I gotta get them Is this little tidbits here on the table, garage? Yes. And in the canner it goes. That's one wonderful thing about canning or raw packing meat for canning is there's no liquid to deal with there's no uh, you don't have to cook the meat because when I when I do sometimes can meat I cook it and then I pour in broth and it's a lot more work than it actually needs to be All right, we'll be back when these are in the all in the canner. Okay, we got seven pints. Oops, sorry about the steam. We have seven pints of seasoned goat meat in the canner. I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, we have the lid on, and when this vent vents a steady stream of steam for 10 minutes, then we will put our 10 pound weight measure on, and once it begins to jiggle vigorously, we will turn it down a little bit to a gentle rocking motion and we will process this just as we did the pork for 75 minutes at 10 pounds pressure. 
And there it is, folks. Seasoned goat's meat. Um, what little fat there is on top, and there's very little, has a green, almost a green look to it, but that shouldn't alarm you. That is the curries and the mustards and the spices I've put in there. I can't wait to try that with a rice peel off. This is the Mrs. Fulfi from our half acre homestead saying, the best meat is the kind you raise yourself.